Hello guys, welcome to the Meet Damien channel. I am Damien and in today's video we're going to be talking about some very popular stocks that uh, reported earnings uh, this week in uh, this week's uh, weekly update in the stock market. Okay, um, we'll first get started with uh, AMD which reported earlier this week uh, as I start to get smaller on your screen here. Uh, you can see the, that we'll be looking at the price charts and we'll see where the price might go after it reported its earnings. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's get right to it. All right, so you should be, you should be able to see AMD on the trading view chart here, and um, what we have here for uh, AMD is uh, the price is currently trading uh, this Friday at one hundred and forty two dollars and sixty six cents. We have about an hour left before the uh, stock market closes here, and um, <clears throat> uh, AMD had its earnings uh, report. Uh, and it looked like we had a few, in just a few days here, we had some green candles that shot the price up, okay? Um, but then uh, when it reported its earnings on uh, Tuesday here, uh, you can see that um, the uh, stock dropped down on Wednesday. It actually gapped down, okay? Uh, this uh, gap is going to eventually need to be filled at some point. Uh, when AMD does start to become bullish again, I'm expecting the price to fill that gap. That gap looks like it uh, needs to be filled at $153, so we're about $10 shy of that right now. Um, <clears throat> but what we're looking at for uh, AMD here is uh, we have created uh, a lower high. It, it, this was the local top here, and this was the, uh, the, the lower high, and we are creating lower lows. And we're basically creating a, uh, a falling uh, wedge. Okay, If I connect the, uh, the lower lows here. Uh, using the trend line, using some trend analysis here, trend uh, trend analysis here, you can see that we are creating a uh, descending wedge, uh, falling wedge here, uh, which usually 70% uh, of the time breaks out to the upside. So uh, we could see uh, uh, AMD probably bottom out like right over here, and maybe create a double bottom, uh, like it did in uh, well, one of the bottoms that it did create was uh, on Friday, September 6th, where we got as low as $132. So I still think they might try to bring AMD to uh, lower prices here in like the lower $130 area. But don't be surprised if you see us get down here and then start to come back up and come back up sharply. Okay. And I'm not quite sure what could cause that price to come back up sharply after creating this falling wedge. Uh, but it probably will probably coincide with the uh, U.S. election here. Okay, so I'm expecting around election time, uh, AMD should start to shoot back up higher. I thought I created a nice uh, arrow there that shows that the price goes up. Okay, but yeah, with this falling wedge, that is actually a bullish pattern. Uh, you can see it kind of create the same thing here on the um, on the RSI. So uh, I, I believe we're probably going to create a double bottom probably in the first week of November. And then prices will be going back up again for AMD. Okay. Now the next stock I would like to talk about here is going to be Google, which uh, reported its earnings on Tuesday. Okay. Google or Alphabet, as some might know it. Okay. Uh, they reported their earnings also on, uh, I believe, uh, Tuesday night. And um, currently, right now, um, the stock is currently trading this Friday at $171. Uh, let's see. Let's look at Tuesday. Tuesday was um, uh, a green day for, for, for Google Alphabet, okay? And it actually gapped up, okay? And once again, these gaps are very interesting, okay? So it gapped up. Earnings were pretty good for Google. Um, and, it, and, it, and it shot up to like $180, uh, opening candle at $180.68, but it closed down $174. We had some consolidation, some, some profit taken, and they're probably going to take this all the way down until we fill the gap here. Uh, the gap looks like it needs to be filled at $170.38. So actually, we're, we're actually pretty close to filling out that gap today here this Friday. Um, where could Google go after this? Um, well, you know, with a good earnings report, okay, I'm expecting it to follow uh, the trend line that it already created, creating a higher lows here, okay? Um, as long as Google can basically stay above this yellow trend line here, uh, it will continue making higher lows and most likely making higher highs. Uh, if, you know, the election uh, ends in November, uh, the first week of November, maybe uh, uh, 
investors feel confident in putting their money back into Google again, and we can see uh, the price of uh, Google go to higher higher prices here, uh, where you know it got as high as back here in July of 2024, where we saw Google at $185. Okay, so that is what I see here, and if Google does that, all right. If Google continues uh, climbing up to higher prices here, it could basically create a uh, ascending wedge, which is also a bullish uh, pattern. And uh, if if it does uh, create that bullish uh, ascending wedge right here, um, I would like to see it fill you know fill the gap here a little bit more. But um, if it does uh, decide to make a uh, ascending wedge here, then you know you would just take the top of the pattern here to the bottom of the triangle. Okay, the ascending triangle. And then you would move that measured move, and it would give you an idea. It's like if Google breaks out over here, we could see basically a two hundred eight dollar that blue number there. We could see a two hundred eight dollar Google price uh, in the future. So might be uh, some some good prices here to uh, snap up some Google shares. Alphabet. Uh, we'll look at uh, Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft then reported on Wednesday. Um, let's see what Microsoft did. That's another uh, popular stock uh, that had earnings uh, this week. Microsoft is currently trading at $412, okay? Uh, and, uh, you know, earnings is very interesting, guys, because uh, it always causes, like, a gap up or a gap down in prices, it seems, for these uh, technology companies out here. And uh, you can see that, you know, Google reported its earnings on Wednesday, um, and then it gapped down on Thursday. Uh, Google was about uh, closing the uh, Wednesday at $432, uh, but then it opened the next day at uh, $415, and then continue its downtrend um, down 6% that day to uh, $406. Um, so I'm expecting, once again, these gaps to get filled at some point in the, in the future. Could be the near future, could be later on in the future. Uh, but that gap will usually get filled at some point here. Um, and, uh, you know, just looking at uh, Microsoft here, Microsoft is also kind of doing the same thing that Google, it needs to stay above this uh, trend line here that is creating it is creating higher lows so that is good to see uh, on the uh, chart here um, you know you could you could say that this right here was a double bottom okay and it should shoot the price back up uh, for uh, for Microsoft but uh, you know that's that's some old data here we have uh, the new data and the new data looks like I mean this is also creating a, an ascending wedge I'm seeing just like uh, just like with uh, Google okay if you uh, just measure the, the top here, okay, we could get something like this. Well, maybe not really an ascending wedge, but it looks more like a symmetrical triangle here. Uh, if uh, <coughs> if Microsoft is uh, able to um, basically uh, stay within that that wedge, that that symmetrical triangle, um, what we could end up getting is uh, if we measure from the the bottom of the uh, symmetrical triangle to the top of the symmetrical triangle, we can get the measure move. And, uh, you know, if Microsoft decides to break out to the upside, okay, uh, we could see Microsoft as high as $480, that blue number there, okay? But the thing with the symmetrical triangles, uh, if that's what uh, Microsoft ends up creating here on the, on the chart, uh, it could also go down to the downside here, okay? If it starts to break down, let's say if it starts to break down like right here, which it kind of is flirting with right now. Uh, we could see Microsoft get down to about $358, okay? Uh, so this is a 50-50. We still need to see more data before we finally know what uh, what's going to happen with Microsoft here, okay? Um, I would expect uh, if, it, if it continues filling out this, tri this uh, symmetrical triangle, we should get some resolution by uh, January of 2025. We'll, we'll know for, for sure if Microsoft is going to be going up or if it's going to be going down, okay? Uh, so that's Microsoft looking on the charts. Uh, another uh, popular stock that uh, reported earnings uh, this week was uh, Meta or Facebook. Uh, Meta reported earnings on Wednesday. Let's take a look at uh, Meta platforms. Um, so yeah, Meta platforms, uh, Facebook, as I like to call them. I mean, they're trading at five hundred sixty-nine dollars. Uh, they had uh, earnings, uh, like I said, on Wednesday. And uh, their earnings report uh, actually sent them down the next day. It uh, wasn't really a big gap. Um, it didn't really gap down too much. Um, it did open uh, uh, it opened at, uh, on Thursday at uh, $585. 
and then it just continued going down from there, down 4% that day, pretty significant in stock market world. And then we had a pretty flat Friday here, um, only up 0.25% uh, for Friday, uh, November uh, 1st here, okay? Um, with that being said, uh, looks like uh, Facebook or Meta is creating a higher lows. So the trend is still intact, okay? But it is flirting on the downside of the trend. Uh, as long as uh, Facebook can maintain that trend of making higher lows, one low here, another higher low, another higher low. I am expecting uh, Facebook to then continue making on higher lows and making higher highs here. Uh, you can also maybe tr call this a uh, a rising uh, uh, channel here, okay? Because the, uh, the highs, you can kind of connect them and you can see that uh, uh, Facebook meta platform is basically staying within this uh, rising channel here. Uh, so when Facebook does decide to make higher highs, uh, it might bounce uh, somewhere like right over here on this on the top of the line of this channel. And you might see uh, Facebook at like $630, um, maybe sometime in November or December. Uh, but then also I would expect it to come back down to the bottom of this uh, trend line. I would be bearish on 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 uh, Facebook. I would be uh, bearish and start sh uh, short selling and selling my shares on Facebook if we break this trend line. And it looks like we're flirting with it right now. So uh, we'll see what happens with uh, Facebook going into next week uh, in the uh, first week of a uh, uh, first trading week of November. And we'll see if uh, if it breaks that trend line. Because if it breaks that trend line, then I'm expecting uh, Facebook to come back down. Maybe stay at the support line here at the five hundred and twenty nine dollars five hundred and thirty dollars um and maybe make a, a higher low from there to before it starts moving up to higher prices uh but we'll see we'll see right now it's looking more bearish than bullish for uh for uh Facebook because it is flirting with the uh the uh down the uh down trend uh the bottom trend line of this uh rising channel here okay uh but yeah let's uh move on to uh another popular stock here. Uh, that one is Apple that reported earnings. Okay, Apple uh, and a lot of these, a lot of these are technology companies. Uh, these are the big, the big, the big technology, the magnificent seven, as some people call it. And uh, Apple, um, you, as you can see, is currently trading at two hundred twenty-two dollars and eighty-five cents, and they reported their earnings on um, Thursday here. And um, so that was basically yesterday, uh, and. Uh, uh, Apple had a down day on Thursday, okay, uh, but it then uh, gapped down, okay, um, it gapped down and opened at uh, about $220, but uh, looks like we rose just slightly, got a little bit higher here, we're uh, trading at, uh, currently trading at $222, and that might be where we end up closing the candle here, we still got about 50 more minutes left for uh, Apple, but uh Apple, uh, I mean, a lot of these stocks look very similar to these technology companies. Uh, as long as they're making higher lows, uh, you can you you can see that they will be, uh, you know, as long as they maintain their their higher lows in the trend line here, then we have nothing really to worry about. Okay, the only thing we have to worry about is they are forming, they are flirting with the the the, the trend line here, to the downside. Um, what I don't like to see here on Apple, though, okay is uh looking at the rsi uh i do see some um some bearish divergence here okay uh if i you know count the, the tops here you can see that we have uh, lower highs here on the rsi but we have um higher highs on the uh, price here okay and that's uh, basically bearish divergence so uh with apple we can expect uh, with the bearish divergence we're either going to drop down like we're flirting with already, okay, to lower prices, and we might drop down to like uh, probably see some support here at like two hundred and ten dollars, or we might just continue trading sideways here at two hundred and twenty dollars, maybe two hundred and thirty dollars uh, for Apple. Okay, so that is the uh, that is my analysis on Apple. I I don't see a bullish uh, case for Apple until Apple gets above uh, the highs that it made. Uh, around like two hundred and thirty six two hundred and thirty seven dollars here okay uh if Apple can get above there, then we could uh possibly see higher prices from there on okay uh but that's my analysis on apple uh we'll go ahead and now move on to uh Amazon Amazon also reported earnings this week, and that one was on Thursday 
And uh, Amazon, okay, is currently trading at $198, and they actually uh, looks uh, looks like they had a good earnings report here. If I click on this, I should say, uh, yeah, they reported their earnings at $1.43. Uh, they were estimated at $1.14. So the surprise side to that was uh, up 25% on their earnings. Uh, and also their revenue was slightly above uh, about $1.6 billion more than they were expecting about 1% higher than, than what they were expecting, okay? So that is uh, that means uh, Amazon had a good earnings report, and of course, that showed on the charts here. Um, on Thursday, uh, Amazon closed out at $186.40, but then on Friday, they opened up, they gapped up uh, to $199, uh, and then it got as high as about $200. Uh, so it's been um, relatively uh, flat so far for... Um, for Amazon, it's actually, um, yeah. Uh, right now, we're currently trading $198, so we have we have a little bit of a red candle going on here. Uh, I do expect that gap to be filled because uh, gaps do like to be filled at some point. So we might get some some sideways uh, downward consolidation on uh, on Amazon, probably back down to like 190 bucks. Uh, maybe after the election, is uh, we know who the winner is going to be. Uh, and we have some more certainty in the market, we can then st uh, shoot up to higher prices for Amazon and get above the $200 level here. But, um, you know, as long as Amazon continues making those higher higher uh, lows, okay, and as long as it stays above this trend line here, okay, just like the other stocks, uh, we have nothing to worry about. And and Amazon is actually looking stronger than, uh, than some of the other companies that I mentioned earlier in this video because it's not even flirting with the... Uh, with the uh, the the the, tr the upward trend line here, okay, it's actually looking like it wants to make a higher high at some point, okay, um, and uh, yeah, as far as the RSI looks, um, you know, we're making higher lows here, higher lows on the uh, RSI, and we're making higher lows on the uh, on the price, so that that usually equates to a bullish expected performance for uh, for the asset. In this case, that'd be Amazon. So I'm, I'm I am a bull on Amazon, um, based on what I see in the charts here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna throw in another one here, guys, for you cryptocurrency investors, because uh, another a very uh, popular cryptocurrency company reported earnings, and that is uh, Coinbase, uh, Coinbase uh, Exchange. Um, they reported their earnings on Wednesday. And uh, looks like uh, Coinbase is currently trading at $180.40. Uh, they're 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 also considered a technology company because they uh, they trade they trade and let people trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, all those other cryptocurrencies that you might hear me talk about in other videos in my channel. Uh, so Coinbase is a uh, a company on the uh, Nasdaq, um, and they um, report their earnings on uh, Wednesday, and uh, looks like uh, it was a bad earnings report. Because I can see that already in the red. So here we are with uh, with Coinbase. Their reported earnings was twenty eight cents. They were expecting forty four cents, so they had a thirty seven percent downward uh, surprise. Um, they were supposed to be reporting at about one point two billion dollars, one point two zero billion dollars. They came in at one point two six billion dollars. I'm sorry. Um, their estimate was 1.26 billion, and they reported 1.2. So they had a downward uh, surprise of 55 million dollars, and uh, they were down um, 4% uh, downward surprise on that. And uh, the investors didn't like that. Okay, that was enough to uh, send the stock of uh, Coinbase down 15% on Thursday, October 31st. Um, and um, yeah. You know, what I can see here is uh, Coinbase is flirting with uh, possibly making a lower low here. Uh, we don't want to see Coinbase get any lower than what it is right now, okay? Uh, if it gets, if it breaks this uh, trend line, then you can expect uh, lower prices. You could expect probably Coinbase to get down to like $150, $160 support, support level here. Um... And then just looking at the RSI, uh, Coinbase ha was making higher lows here, okay? And it was also making higher lows on the RSI, okay? So it still is in a bullish trend, at least on the daily chart. But it, once again, is flirting with that 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 trend line. If it breaks the trend line, I would be bearish on, on Coinbase uh, until it can get above 
this trend line, okay? Um, and that's what we do here on this uh, channel. We do trend analysis. Uh, we look at the charts. Uh, we look at some of the fundamentals, like the earnings reports here, when they do come out. But uh, we usually stick to charts because charts can tell us and, and give us a good idea as like what the next price might be for uh, for this for these stocks. And right now, Coinbase is looking bearish. Um, if it goes below a hundred, hundred and eighty dollars, okay, I would not be uh, I would not be in Coinbase uh, or at least heavily positioned in the Coinbase if it goes below one hundred and eighty, which is at right now. So it needs to start moving back up again in price. Um, so yeah, guys, that's, uh, my weekly update here on the stock market for some of the most popular stocks that reported earnings. Um, I appreciate you guys coming onto this channel. I look forward to doing more videos like this. Uh, just keep in mind guys that, um, I am not a financial advisor. Okay. Um, uh, my, my name is Damien, but I'm not a financial advisor. Um, I am just a guy who enjoys looking at stocks, uh, and I also invest in stocks. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not invested in any of these stocks I talk about in this video, but I may or may uh, be invested in these stocks sometime in the future, okay? Um, but yeah, I had to put out that disclaimer. I hope you guys really like this video. Um, click that like button if it was good for you guys, and you've got some value out of it, and share it with your friends and family. Uh, let them know that we have some good some good information in these videos. You guys have a, a good idea as like what might happen next with these stocks here. Okay, and um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and click that uh, subscribe button uh, and come join the uh, the Meet Damien Meet Damien channel, Meet Damien community, uh, where we love to talk about stocks, cryptos, uh, finance, and business. Okay. Uh, once again, I am Damien, and I appreciate you guys uh, coming to the channel, and good luck trading and investing out there, guys. Take care.